Hola, mi amigos, and welcome back to more DML. So today we will be hatching the hippo dragon, finally. I've been waiting far too long. But, you know, a lot of people have still been asking me about the garden dragon. Like, is this actually a good dragon? It's kind of like, meh. Like, if you don't have any other legendaries, and this is the only one that you get, because, you know, we're all going to get it for free, then maybe it could work on your team. But it's still not going to be the best legendary out there. But anyway... Like I said, we have this beautiful little hippo dragon to hatch. I love it. I love the little ears. I just, you know, he's just such a weird dragon. I'm not sure it is about the weird ones, but they just appeal to me. So the hippo dragon might look a little ungainly, but it's as graceful as a ballet dancer in the water and faster than a marathon runner on land. Wait, what? It's faster than a marathon runner on land. That's terrifying. Can you imagine a hippo, like, stampeding towards you faster than Usain Bolt? Um, I'm not sure if I like that, to be honest. That's a terrifying thought. But, you know, here's a cute little epic water, void, and light. I don't think he's really that great, to be honest. You know, he doesn't have shadow, he doesn't have plant. I mean, he, he does look very weird. And I'm not sure what the deal is with this big plant pot on his head. Like, if you give it a second here, what is it? Why do you have a plant pot on your head? I know it's meant to be some sort of, like, Egyptian clothing or some sort of stylized item, but it just looks like a huge flower pot. I can't handle it. Such a ridiculous dragon air quotes. I mean, where else are you going to see a hippo with wings? It's weird enough as it is. Like, god damn it, Sally. Also quick before we get back in game, there was this post yesterday by the DML page that was saying, we've updated our cover photo. But unfortunately, when they did so, in the description it had the, uh, the tag, the new update is out. But a bunch of people were like, Quacks, Quacks, the new update is out. Why aren't you doing a video on it? Why can't I download it? What basically happened was, it was referring to an update from the Enchantress Dragon update. So, from over a year ago, and I got a ton of questions and people basically just going off at me saying, But I can't download it, Quacks. Where is it? Where is this new update, Quacks? Yeah, could, could you please pay attention to the fact that this was posted the 6th of April 2017 before messaging me about this? Please? I beg. Like, look, I get it. Facebook feeds can be trash. But, you know, if it says the Enchantress Dragon is the new dragon in the update, like, how many Enchantress Dragons do we actually have now in our inventory? We, we must have, like, we've got three of them at this point, and we have one in-game, which means we have four Enchantress Dragons by this point. I assure you, the Enchantress Dragon is not a new one. And the update for the Enchantress is certainly not the new one. So, I hope, if you are confused about that, that that is cleared up. Because I've said it probably 50 times now. But that new major update with the new campaign map, level 100 dragons, will not be here for a few weeks, is exactly what they said. And then people say, but how long is a few weeks, Quacks? I don't know. How long is your freaking hair? How long are your toenails? I don't care. The point is, it's very ambiguous. Because you could say, oh, a few weeks and mean one week or just over one week. Or you could mean five weeks. You could mean ten weeks for all I know. Like, I don't really care exactly what their terminology is. But a few weeks is pretty obvious what they're talking about, isn't it? I would have thought so, at least, but apparently not. So, you know, I get that everyone's excited, they want the new update to come, but you've got to be patient. If they say a few weeks from now, don't think that that means tomorrow. Like, there's no way that they're going to say it will be out in a few weeks and then release it the next day. There is no way. So... Instead of getting your panties in a twist and basically, I don't know, trying to blame me for it being delayed or something, please have some common sense. I beg. I really do beg for at least a little bit of common sense every now and then. But, um, you know, it is the internet. I get it. I get that that's not always the case. Um, I would also rather not be blamed for 
a company's mistakes that I'm not affiliated with, but I guess that's also something that I, I just have to accept at this point. There's so many times where people have asked me to fix their game. It's like, you know, I don't actually work for Gameloft, you know, and I never have. Why do you think I'm gonna, you know, fix your account for you? Why don't you fix my account? Why don't you give me unlimited resources, huh? Where, where's, where's my free stuff? Oh well. You know, it's just how it is. I, I, I just complain about everything at this point, but still. For a second, everyone, when they were going, Quacks, the new update's out, you gotta go download it. For a second, I actually believed them. And I actually, like, I was busy doing something. I was like, oh god, is it? I, like, panicked, you know, went ahead and logged in, got everything set up, and then it's like, oh, actually, no. No, there is no update. You've just failed to grasp the understanding of how Facebook timelines work. So that was a an interesting time yesterday, but I think I'm over it for now. I think, you know, since the meantime, now that we actually know that all this new stuff is coming, basically what I've been doing is I've just been doing as many daily fights as I can because, you know, with the Divine update and that going on, I just sort of was like, eh, about logging in because, you know, we weren't getting Seth. We didn't get Osiris, so we don't get Hathor. So I was feeling pretty discouraged in terms of, you know, playing and doing stuff. But now that we know that we're actually getting completely new stuff, new dragons, and we need a lot of level up materials and enchantment stuff, I actually have felt a little bit more... I don't know, I've just been feeling a little bit better about, you know, grinding for stuff these last couple of days. It's just when there's actually incentive to do things, you do log in more frequently. And like I've said, that's what this update is mostly catered to from what we can tell. You know, players with max level dragons for the most part have a bunch of new stuff to do now. Plus, if you remember, the enchantment stars, they said that there are going to be new enchantment breedables, but the dragons have to be like level 80 or level 90 to enchant them to max enchantment. So that means we're going to have level 90 dragons in our game just so that we can breed new stuff. So can you imagine how long that is going to take? I guess it depends on what the new farms are. But man, if those farms don't generate like one million food every hour, I, I don't know how that's going to be doable. Because literally to get to level 8 enchantment, it does say in their patch notes that they have to be level 90, I think, to get to level 8 enchantment stars. So, I'm scared. I'm absolutely terrified of what is to come. Like, do you remember how long it took to enchant the superhero in that? When we were going for the plushy and the briar dragons and that. They took months to enchant. Months. And now we have we have level 90s that we're going to have to deal with. At least before. Like they only had to be like what? Level 30 or something? Maybe I'm not remembering. But they didn't have to be a high level. Not level 90. Like our main team isn't even level 90. Obviously. I don't know. I guess it's another one of those things, let's not prejudge it before we get it, but the enchantment breedables seem impossible on first glance to me. I hope I'm wrong, but I, I can only imagine the sort of dragon that could come out of that. Like, is the Apollo going to be the campaign map reward? Is the Apollo going to be a breedable dragon? Is he still never going to be released and he'll just be a running joke until the end of time? I don't know. I really don't know. Obviously, like most people, I do hope that the Apollo is at least released at some stage because I don't want him stuck in jail anymore. I'm sure he wants to see the light of day at some point. I mean, he's just been locked up, banished, um... You know, made fun of 
Like, there's no other divines that haven't been released yet. Just the Apollo Dragon. So why him? What's what's with all the hate? No bully. No bully. Please. I mean, he used to be one of my favourite divines as well. And they were like, yeah, let's never release him. How do you feel about that? Oh, splendid. Thank you. I feel great. And again, with all of these new dragons that will be added in the new update, let's hope that again they are actually released instead of, you know, staying in that limbo until they die. But with all these new ways to earn dragons like the Enhanced Arena and Enhanced Enchantment League and such, there are going to be a lot of opportunities for them to, you know, just throw dragons left, right and centre. So I hope for all of our sakes, that we have a lot of fun stuff to do. And I do hope that it's actually doable. The the breeding or dragon collection leaderboards is still quite an interesting concept. Because at the moment, you, you know, you can go and visit someone and check how many dragons they have and such, but it's interesting to see how they're going to judge, like, who has the most powerful. Because they said it would be based off of, like, their enchantment level and stuff like- Oh, God. Dragon Fury? No, I'm not doing it. I refuse. But they said it was going to be based on enchantment level and, you know, overall level of all your dragons. So, I don't know. I guess if you were the sort of person that would hack for, like, using that weird hacking software, I imagine that you could pretend like you were the best dragon trainer on earth for a very limited time. I don't know if it would count though. Because the only hacking software for this game that is even available, air quotes, I know that the way that it works is it doesn't actually save any of it so you can like throw stuff in and, you know, basically give yourself a million gems, but it will never save your progress. So basically it's pointless to even use it. But if that would save or go through the servers, then technically couldn't people just keep appearing on the leaderboards like that? I don't know how it works. You know, I don't support hacking, so I don't really delve into the software. I just know that it exists, and I know a lot of the people that have attempted to distribute it and have used it before but honestly if you want to hack in a game like this I don't see the point of why you're playing it to begin with like why would you play a game just to hack especially a game like this like isn't the whole point of like timer-based breeding games the fact that you have to wait so when you actually get something good it feels more impactful like, sure, you could go, yeah, well, they're just lazy, but and I, I do sort of get it when these games are as grindy as they are. But at the same time, it's just sort of really pointless. Like, I don't get why you'd waste your time hacking in a game ever. It's just sort of s very scummy. And I get asked all the time, Quacks, you obviously hack because you've got a lot of food, right? So, how did you hack? And I was just like, oh, God, another imbecile. Another imbecile from, like, Vietnam. I don't know what it is with the Vietnamese players. Like, this isn't even being weird about it, but genuinely, I get so many questions about that from Vietnamese viewers. Like, a lot of people just randomly say that because, you know, they don't really know what's going on in life. But it's very specifically Vietnamese people that always want to hack and I know that a lot of the hacking software does originally come from Vietnamese people and one club in particular but why me? Why do all the Vietnamese people ask me for how to hack the game? Why, why would you assume I know? Go somewhere else! It would be like asking me where to buy a gun from. Like, no offense, but I'm not really into the whole, you know, buying weaponry shebang. So I'm probably not the best source for that. Like, I don't really know many people that even have a gun, especially in this country. Like, jeez, 
If you just randomly have a weapon in this country, you're gonna get locked up for just owning it. But whatever. You know, I guess that, that, that was my random ramble for today. Like, Vietnamese people, if you are listening, and you are one of the ones that consistently keep saying, you, you have a lot of food, so you must be hacking quacks. Please, understand. I've been playing this game for nearly four years now. It has tainted my blood and my very being. I, I can't remember what my life was like before DML anymore. I, I'm just... I feel cursed. I feel like I'm destined to play DML now for the rest of my life. So, I would never, ever endorse hacking or hack the game myself because why? I already have everything! I don't need any more! What would be the point of hacking in a game where I already have everything that I need? Like that would be more pointless than anything else I've even talked about. Oh and also I do need another apprentice because you know at this point I think if my apprentice doesn't speak to me after like 10 days or so or like does any quests, I think I will just literally kick them immediately because it has been so long and we still do not have that professor dragon and I am losing my mind. You know, it's I'm too forgiving. It's like, oh they haven't logged in for a week but I'm sure they'll be back next week and then they just never log in again. So I, I give up. You've made me lose faith in humanity apprentices. I'm ashamed of you. I'm utterly ashamed of your conduct. So for now I am gonna go but I did enjoy Hatching our hippo dragon. I wish that we could have got it on this account as well, but all that we got was an envoy and a priestess. We didn't get the hippo on our main account! <laughs> uh, feels bad, man. But, you know, for now, we'll keep logging in every day for that Green Thumb Days calendar event. Give me some juicy gems in these next few days, and we'll go and get our free legendary soon. But for now, I'll be on the lookout for new info on that as well, so... You know, stay tuned in case we hear anything else about the new update or any, I don't know, any other random garbage that might be coming soon. So, until next time, I will see you then.